and Shane are leaving for school right now. I'm so proud of Michael. He posted his first Instagram picture. See, oh, I just got an alert. It says, see Michael's first Instagram photo. This is very exciting, hang on. Let's see if you can see it. It's Bosley. His uh, Instagram is at Mig, M-I-G-B, some boy, gold. It's a nickname, don't ask. I see something weird going on with my hair. Anyway, um, it's a picture of Boz, my favorite client, hanging out with me in my study this morning. I helped him with the hashtags. And he has 15 likes. <laughs> He's, I'm so proud of him. He has entered the social media world and it is warm and foggy. Is it warm? Yeah, it's kind of warm. Look at this. There's a house over there. Like right there, there's usually a house. You can kind of see the outline. Not that, that's the playhouse. Way out there. It's creepy and foggy. I love it. I love creepy, foggy weather. I hear the pitter patter of little wriggly feet. Wriggles! Wriggly! I see him in the background, but he won't come out. Little stinker. He doesn't like to get wet. Hi! You're not interested in going outside? Oh, a big morning stretch. You're so lazy. I'm surprised you got out of bed. He usually goes and does his business in the morning and then comes right back into bed. He and stays in bed for hours. He loves snuggling with Bosley in the morning. Good morning. Oh, the face. Oh, Mimi, you too. Oh, I love you too. You're a good girl. Okay, now we've scratched up mommy's legs. Let's get on with our morning. Alrighty, time to get on with the day. I am using the new Strivectin mask that they sent me, which I love to use in the mornings because you keep it on for a max of five minutes, which is wonderful. I'm opening the blinds. I think I'm gonna turn on my lava lamp. How do I turn on my lava lamp? There it is. It's really not lava, it's a glitter lamp with my pretty orchid. And uh, get that going. The pool has turned on. I don't know if you can see that. That's my view from my bedroom window. Isn't that lovely? It's a little dreary out, but... If I get up close, can you hear the mask oxygenating? It's weird, right? Anyway, I'm gonna let this continue to oxygenate, and I'm gonna load yesterday's footage up and get editing! Woo! to get those tuxedo pants and ended up getting none of them and I picked out look at how pretty this color is I'm gonna go ring up everything's 40% off I'm kind of trying to control myself and not buy everything but look at these cute makeup bags look at so cute matching rose gold shirt ooh rose gold shirt what I think that would do nothing for me, complexion-wise. So we're gonna keep walking like we never saw it. Oh. Hey guys, back from the shopping and I'm going to make, I'm making tacos for the kids tonight and I don't see the ground meat. I want to smile. Ever one of those days where you're just in a pissy mood and you know you're in a pissy mood? You almost want to warn everyone around you to run because you're in a pissy mood. You know you're being unreasonable, but you can't stop yourself. Yeah. One of those days. So, that's why I have not vlogged much of the day because I didn't want you to sit and listen to me bitch and moan. Anyway, if you ever want a great make ahead dinner, tacos. I use ground turkey instead of um, ground beef, but you can just ground the beef and then whenever kids get home, they can microwave it or whomever's coming home. Oh, I do have taco mix, yay. And um, I thought I didn't, in which case I was gonna have to ad lib. And anyway, I know what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that it's a great thing to make ahead because you can just brown the meat whenever. You can even freeze it and then reheat it when you need it and then just have the fixings all put in little containers and then whenever the people come home to eat dinner they can eat it staggered or what have you so 
It's not, it's like 3.30, so I'm gonna brown the meat and put it in the fridge, because Michael and I are going to a Hanukkah party tonight at our synagogue. It's a Hanukkah party slash fundraiser, and it's casual, casual. What is casual? What's a casual party? No, I need to know, like, are we wearing jeans and sweaters? Are we wearing, like, business casual? Are we wearing cocktail? I think I just prefer parties that require ball gowns, because at least you know going into it, you know you need a ball gown. Men, it's easy, I think. They have, like, suits, or basically khakis and a golf shirt. You can cover everything, so. All right, see what I mean? Bitching and moaning. I'm gonna get to browning meat. Still browning taco meat. Um, real quickly, I am sure so many of you are getting sick about me talking about Hanukkah, but um, a lot of you asked about what those prayers that we said, we sing our prayers, we like to sing, even though we can't sing. Well, I can't, the rest of the family's pretty good. Um, instead of going on and on, I will either put it, a, put it out in the description box, or there'll be a link in the description box to the translations, but without singing it, the first phrase of most he uh, Jewish prayers in Hebrew are the same, and it's I'll say each word distinctly because they can kind of blend into each other. And no, I cannot speak Hebrew, but I went to five years of Hebrew school, which is like the same as Catholic CCD. So one would hope you'd pick up a few things. And it's Baruch Ata Adonai, which is Blessed are you, our Lord, Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Our God, King of the Universe, or literally King of the World. Wait, Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melchalam, Asher Kiddushanu, B'mitzvah Tav, which means who has sanctified us. Oh boy, I'm going to mess this up. Something like who has sanctified us to follow your commandments, I think. I may have just messed that last part up, but I will do better by you and actually find the translation and either link it below. But anyway, the first prayer basically says, we, did, we sang two songs. The first one was... Bless are you, Lord our God, King of the Universe, who has commanded us to follow your commandments and light candles for Hanukkah. And I can't remember what the second one means. It starts off with the same phrase. Something about it in our Father. I don't know. I'm going to link it below because it's enough babbling. Minute and a half of, like, no information. All right, I'm going to... Wanted, I was reading some comments and I just wanted to address some things. Um, number one, I should clarify that the company didn't want me to lie. They, well, they just wanted me to say I used a product of theirs that I hadn't. Um, so I couldn't tell you, I mean, I can tell you because Michael's using it, but I personally haven't been using it. So I can't say that I used it, but it's an amazing product. Um, so I just, and I don't even know if it's, the, so I just said, no, I can't add in that I, I like the product because I haven't used it. So that was that. Um, but Michael's been using it and he loves it, but he wasn't asked to be in the video. And the thing about the masks that you saw me give my friends that I was supposed to return, I ended up buying them <laughs> when I went back to Sephora. So um, I know some of you thought that I stole them from Sephora and gave them to my friends, but I did not. And it's really sad that there are people watching my videos just trying to find something that they can find that I did wrong. But sorry, guys. I mean, I do do things wrong all the time. I'm a normal person. I'd love to see how some of you did if you had a camera following you around all the time. Anyway, um, that's that. So I'm going to go upstairs and check on Shane. And then I will probably call it a night. Sorry, this hasn't been the most exciting day. But some days are easier to film than others, what can I say? And I wanna know what's going on over here, huh? All right, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna head on up and I'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, <laughs> sorry, I filmed like nothing of the party. It was nice, it was nice. It was, you know, it was a party at our synagogue with all a bunch of congregants that we knew and in the social hall and it was very lovely, but it's not really a place to pull out the camera. So I didn't, and now I'm just coming upstairs. My face is washed, and I am getting Shane's phone. He's probably asleep. And saying goodnight. So this vlog was probably the lamest for the month so far, but uh, that's how the day went. So thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. My husband is the most awesome dad in the world. He, I don't know what he's up to today, but he just texted me and said he's bringing the boys lunch at school 
from Whataburger, like what a burger. That's what